Hi everyone, welcome to Gamers Geeks. I'm Josh. Uh, I got, I got a nine. I got a nine. No, no, uh, no G and G sides so. though. All right, so uh, this week I'm gonna be cracking open this little beauty right here. Look, look at her, she's so cute. All right, this is Heart of Crown. Uh, this is the Far East Territory. Uh, this is an expansion to the Heart of Crown uh, board game. Uh, that me, JD, Bubba, and Greg this past week did a video on. Oh my goodness, if I could get it open, that would be fantastic. Maybe I should have just opened this to begin with. I might actually have to restart this video. Nope, never mind. I got it! Cool. Alright. So, nice little box here. Uh, gimme. Okay, so uh it comes with like this little tiny uh I guess rule book ish. Oh no, this is a story. Okay, so uh this gives you like some story information. Uh as well it gives you some like recommendations for cards to pair. Uh comes with these uh little dividers. Um in the, the game that we played as well, they actually came with uh these little cardstock, or not cardstock, but I guess they're uh, cardboard dividers with the, the actual pictures of the cards, uh, so you can organize them in your box set. Uh, now, what else do we got here? Okay, I got two, two decks of cards here. Uh, we have our, our princess. This is Far East Princess of Sums Oka. Sums Oka. This, this chick right here. Alright. And I'm going to try to keep this video not too terribly long. I got, I'm going to do it maybe another two minutes on it. Uh, I, I just want to give a rundown of some of the, the cards that you get in here. You get, uh, I got some Greedy Fairies. I'm going to show you that card. Greedy Fairies. Uh, you select one of the following effects. You, you pay a coin. Uh, this ability cannot put more than two coin counters in your coin area. So you pay, put one coin counter in your coin area. At any time, you can remove one coin counter from your coin area to gain one coin. Or, pick any two counters you own and remove them from the game. If you do so, pick another counter that you own and create a copy of it in the same location. That's... I feel like I'm missing a mechanic right now. It's just a two-drop. So I feel like there's a mechanic that we're missing there that, that's supposed to make that good. Alright, so uh, then we have uh, a Carrier Pigeon. All right, it's just a draw a card. It's the art on it. Draw a card, or if you've already played an action, select a non-territory card from your discard pile and add it to your hand. So you, if you've played an action before this, you can add another action back to your hand. Uh, then we have uh, levies. Um, you may select a market stack that does not yet have a levy token on it and place a levy token on it. Also, you are not affected by levy tokens this turn. Cost to buy a card from the market stack when it has a levy token on it is increased by one. Okay, so you so you get to put uh, you make other cards cost more for other people, so you hinder them from being able to play properly. Uh, and then let's see if I can find something else. We've got uh, archers here. You get to play archers. That seems very much like like Dominion meets uh, anime girls. Uh, each opponent must reveal the top card of their draw pile. So they reveal the top card of their deck. The card revealed is a common card. They must discard it. So if it's a, uh, I guess like these are common cards, right? Versus like this is a, a rare. You can tell by the the bottom right the color. There's you see that how it's gold. So like in Magic, that's a rare. Versus uh, here where it's black, you can barely see it. It's black. It's a common card. So if it's a common card, they have to discard it. Uh, if it is not, they put the card face down on top of their pile. While this card remains in your play area, you gain one coin each time you play an attack card. Okay, so you it's like you start off your turn playing this, and then the more cards that are attack-type cards you play, you, you gain money off of. That's, that's interesting. That, that's a good tactic. All right, folks. Well, um, I don't want to, go to get any further along, but uh, that is part, part of Oka. Uh, one of the expansions to that. Uh, there's four expansions in total, plus an actual larger expansion box set. We'll be cracking those open, probably also be playing them. 
but I was interested and wanted to show you all some of the stuff out of it. Anyways, thank you. See you in the next video.